welcome back to Nikel C TV. I am bringing back frugal fix ups, and as you can see by the thumbnail, I'm gonna show you how I transformed my dusty old flower bed for the third time. If you've been a fan of this channel, yes, for the third time, I'm redoing this flower bed, so let's get into it. So, the first thing I did was I just pulled up all the mulch, all the old mulch, since I'll be replacing it. The easiest way for me to do this was to actually just lift up the tarp that protects it from weeds and then just pull my trash can over and stuff it all into the trash can. Literally going to do the same exact thing on the other side, cleaning up the area, pulling over the trash can, and then just scraping up the mulch with the tarp so that I can put it in the trash can again. Okay, so now that the worms and the mulch have been dealt with, I'm just going to reuse the same exact protective weed barrier that I used before because it didn't have any holes in it. And that's the purpose of this episode of Frugal Fix Ups is to just continue to use what you have. It saves you money. So now that I've done that, I'm just going to take the stakes that I also had previously stuck into the tarps into the ground. I'm just going to restick them to make sure that this is positioned properly so that none of the weeds get through and mess up our design. Okay, so if you watch my DIY plant your patio video, then it's literally the same exact process. If you haven't watched it, I encourage you to, but if not, then I'm just going to tell you what I did. Pour out the bags of rocks. I'll tell you how many I used on each side in the description box below. Once you pour out the rocks, you'll then see me using my rake to just smooth it all out. day two is because I ran out of rocks the first day but now it's time to add some decorations to just make this so cute and so modern in my opinion and then of course a new plant because we love plants around here on the Kelsey TV so I got this cute little pot from Home Depot I'll put all the information in the description box as well but basically what I want it to look like is that these rocks are kind of spilling over out of the pot I've seen this in some flower beds I thought it was really cute so I thought I'd do it myself Thank you. 
So again, if you've seen my other videos, you know this technique. What I did was I cut a hole in the weed barrier. I dug a hole that's big enough to fit this new plant. And then I'm just going to put this new plant in its new home. Then I'm going to take some of that dirt that I dug out of that hole just to pack the plant in to make sure it's nice and snug and it's ready to go. Well, you guys, that is it. This is the final look of my new flower bed. As always, I thank you for your time. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Bye.